Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to do a price drop on the Poshmark app. After the last closet clear out, I had quite a few comments on previous videos asking me to explain it. So I figured I'd put together a quick video. But first, if this is your first video, welcome. My name is Karen with The Thrifty Flamingo. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Love to see you again. If you find this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button and stick around to the end because I'm going to show you my technique and how I use the price drop to get sales. So let's get to it. I'm now going to go over the price drop within the app. But before I get into that, I took a screenshot of the closet clear out um, notification, last closet clear out. And I want to show you that first. So pay attention to the bottom portion of the screen, like, you know, the tiny font, <laughs> the very light gray font. The second and the third sentences are very important. Price dropping can happen whether it's closet clear out or not, but during closet clear out, they do get reduced shipping. So for reduced shipping to happen, minimum purchase price must be $10. So if you drop something down to 9 or $8, they're not getting reduced shipping. Now the third sentence, price drop, um, this is, doesn't matter if it's closet clear out, this is how they do their price drops. So price must be dropped by at least 10% from the lowest historical price to qualify. Remember that word historical. We'll get into that. So now I'm going to open up the app. I made this listing just for us. I didn't want to price drop one of my active listings and then have, you know, somebody that had bookmarked it and liked it get a price drop notification. <laughs> so I just made this. Don't mind my flamingo. Yay. <laughs> Got a little silly with it. So as you see, my flamingo is at $100. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to like our own listing. This is how I'm going to show you what your likers see when you price drop. Because now we like the item. So in order to price drop from $100, you need to reduce it by at least 10%. So to do that, you go up to the top and you hit edit. Then you go down to listing price. Clear that out of there. Now 10% off of 100 would be, drum roll, $90. Then you're going to hit next and list. Yay. Awesome. Notice up at the top next to that one like, which is our like, you're going to see a little down arrow with the 10%. That's telling us that our price drop worked. The other place that you can see is down here where it says shipping and discount right underneath the seller discount. It says price dropped 10%. Awesome. So what your likers get in their notifications, <gasps> Pink Flamingo Boutique lowered the price of Don't Mind My Flamingo Educating in Process. Now, during closet clear out, it would say buy now for, you know, an hour or reduce shipping for an hour, whatever it says. Um, so it'll tell them what the reduced shipping is. Now, let's say, you know, we, we dropped the price and nothing happened. We wanted to get more views on it, but we don't want to lower it anymore. We want to put it back up at $100. So now still no bite. So that remember how I said historical low. If we go to edit, and we go to do $90 again. That 10% is still up there because we never really cleared out of the screen. But we still have the original price drop. Nothing else gets sent because it was already reduced to $90. So what you need to do to get another one is historical low. So $90, 10% of $90, nine dollars we're gonna reduce it now to 81 list list that arrow just flashed said another 10 percent 
as you see, price a drop, don't mind my flamingo. Awesome. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Oh yeah, the even numbers are so easy to do percentages. Um, Poshmark rounds up in their favor. Obviously, they're keeping the few cents to them. So, you think, okay, I'm going to price drop one more time, $81. So 10% of 81 is $8.10. You cannot enter change in the app. So you need to round up. If you put $8 in, now you're his you don't get a price drop, and now your historical low, ha you have to price drop from that. And that kind of stinks. I've done my math wrong a few times and kind of kicked myself in the butt for it. So you have to actually minus $9 from the 81. So 81. Uh oh. Bam. 11%. You see how now it says 11%? Because we can't enter change. And then we're going to go back here. Don't mind my flamingo. So that's how you do a price drop. So I hope that cleared things up about the price drop. If it did, definitely hit the like button. I appreciate it. So at the beginning of the video, I told you that to wait to the end that I would share how I price drop my items to get them moving. In the beginning, I had a system I would list an item and in two weeks time, if nothing happened, no sales, no, no good offers to accept, I would price drop at 10%. And then I would get the item another two weeks and I would price drop it 10 more percent, so 20% total. If nothing happened and not much was going on with it, I would then relist the item. Repeat process. <laughs> Wash, rinse, repeat until it's sold. Now, I have too many items listed. When I went from part-time to full-time, I had to up my game. I had to up my sourcing. I had to up how, what I was selling. So now I give it a month. In a month, if it doesn't move, I drop it 10%. And then two weeks after that, I'll drop it another 10%. Only if I don't foresee a closet clear-out happening. Now, Poshmark does like to have these closet clear-outs on long weekends, like um, holiday type weekends where um, that coming Monday, people may not have to work. So I just listed a bunch of items, very beginning, almost beginning of August. So um, I'm gonna wait until Labor Day because I have a good feeling that Poshmark's going to be having a closet clear out for Labor Day weekend. So I'm gonna wait and then do it then. These are just tips and tricks that work for me. Everybody has their own way of doing things, you know, so I hope you've learned. And if you wanna learn more about reselling, definitely follow my channel and I make videos weekly. Oh, side note, real quick, I just got done with my um, Posh and Sip, co-hosting that. I'm gonna put a little video together, but together um, the little bits I captured, I was really busy playing hostess and like getting to know people that I wasn't like, hey, camera, camera, but I got a little something for you, so keep an eye out for it. 